Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button and join the couch gang. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Gator FX tonneau cover I bought for my 2022 F-150 with the five and a half foot bed. So I'm gonna essentially in this video going to be going over the pros and cons as well as showing you guys the installation and a couple features of the cover after the installation. Uh, the pros here are gonna be that it's a good price. It's a middle ground price. It's hard to get into it. Uh, you can't just cut it open since it's a hard folding cover and it's a hard cover and uh, you have to like lower the tailgate first to open it so it's kind of secure and also you know you can't cut into it and also it's got a lot of different little locks and different things you can do with the cover and i'll show you guys that after the installation but before the end of the video so stay tuned for that and as for the cons really the construction's not the best but it's not the worst but i would say it's a con because i guess if you're trying to buy something that's the best of the best there uh the you know the insulation is is quite easy but you can see that it's not really hooked up by anything more secure than clamps i say it's just enough but i would put that there as a con and otherwise for cons i would say that the the clips are not that great uh, when you screw them in if you screw them in a little too tight it'll like damage them so you just gotta snug them if you go too much it will damage them so it just it just stands to talk about the quality right a lot of it's plastic there some of the stuff like that that could have been maybe metal or something like that but those are the cons there let's get into the installation i'll catch you guys at the end of the video all right for the installation you're gonna need a wrench with a 916 socket and some screwdrivers so the kit is going to come with the rails, the unit itself, the cover, that's that. You're going to also get some other things here, those two there for tying down on the, I think the cover to the rails. And you get these clamps to hold the rails onto the truck. And then you have these little guys, which we're going to do first. They're going to go right there and there to clip in. Then you're going to be given a couple things here. Some are for bed that doesn't have a drop-in bed liner or spray-in and this right here are for the essentially when this flips up and it touches the window there and it doesn't damage the window so those are kind of like something we'll install later so let's start off with just doing this first right here let's get to that all right so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open that little packet and you're going to see these 3m little stickies you're going to stick them on there after you clean it like so on both sides and uh, then you're gonna screw in the additional pieces okay so here we have the screw and the insert there that goes on the bottom the screw screws into it like so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these two with whatever else was in that little bag and put that in there like so make sure you don't tighten it too much and you should be good Okay, so here is how these rails go in. You're going to have to make sure that that is pushed forward as much as possible. The reason is because if that there doesn't line up like in this video, like so, your tailgate will not shut and it doesn't say it anywhere. So I found that on my own. Then you're going to take these rails. When you set them in, you're going to kind of go on at an angle. You want that seal to seal up against the truck. Uh, like I'll show you soon here on the other side Like so see how that seal is kind of shut there and That's that's already mounted, but that's what you want the seal to look like so that water doesn't get in from there I'm just making sure everything's Secured and that that those are not uh, that haven't popped out there. Uh, that's not a step, uh, but I'm just showing that Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these guys and you're gonna make sure they clamp the truck part and the rail and you're gonna first screw them a little bit in and then just a little bit then you're gonna slam the top make sure it sets in and then you're gonna tighten the rest of the way so that's how you put those in you're gonna put one in the middle and then one on each side I'll show you that soon here like that and we're gonna do that here we, here it is done you're essentially doing it one in the middle, one in the back, one in the front. Then you're going to put the drain tubes in. And I put them right there. Uh, but if you get it like a line X, you're going to have to maybe get the line X cut. 
but since I, I have a drop in just put them through those holes there so the water drains through and then onto the ground on each side of that there so pretty easy there and now that is where you would clean and then put the long strip that's in the packet you would clean it with like isopropyl alcohol or something like that and then put that strip down there if you have no drop in bed liner after that you're going to take the cover itself and you're going to put it on the truck like so in between the two rails make sure it clicks i'm zooming out here like that same position same look but you're going to have it first slid down towards me when you set it down first and then you're going to open that flap forward like i i said there and it's going to look something like this first right with the flap like that and what you're going to do is you're going to apply pressure on top not too much and push it forward until it stops you want that sitting against that um, part of the truck there so see how i'm pushing forward slowly make sure that lip goes over that and push it in until it stops and that's when you know you're good so here, what we're going to do is gently open this up so it rests against there, but there's no protection there yet, so watch out. At that point, we're going to take this little guy that comes with the kit, and we're going to, with the rubber piece like that, put it inside on each side there, like so. Do it on both sides. Then once you flip up that, you're going to put these three in that order, like so and that is going to screw in using that piece there so you're not going to want to tighten those all the way though because you're going to have to unfold this and make sure everything's aligned properly and then fold it back again and then make sure those are snug so don't tighten them all the way right away so right here you're going to make sure that it is properly aligned and then everything's locking into place on each side so you're going to make sure that you look right there and make sure that those look good and you can use those to open it back up slowly here it is open back up and we're going to have to now uh, install the you know tighten those two back down now that it's aligned and then install that we're going to clean it with isopropyl alcohol and then put that 3m there here it is, we taped those three down, uh, we pressed on them for a while, and look at that, when you open it, it's nice and, and safe. So that's awesome there. Okay, let's talk about how you're supposed to close it. So always close the tailgate first, so it doesn't ruin the seal. And then after you close the tailgate there, you're gonna go ahead and close that part, kinda let it go down, and make sure it's shut. Uh, and see how that's not shut I just have to press it down a little bit to make it shut and then it's important just to keep an eye on your seals there uh, if you don't want water getting in there it over time though they'll, they'll just adapt and be easier but it, when it's brand new you know just keep an eye on it but uh, yeah that's what the cover looks like right there looks sick amazing love to see it all right so right here this is how you open it you essentially pull on that string there and you then just kind of fold it back like so and again there's just another string same thing you just have to pull it on one side and that's how that folds there now that's the little hook i was talking about you can plug that in there and drive with that open like so if you need it partially open and then if you need it fully open i'll show you that in a second here okay so now this is with it fully open you're going to take that and that's going to go in there so to do that you're going to unscrew there pull it up set it in there screw it back in and uh yeah that's it do that on both sides and you can drive with that up so real nice Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed the installation. Again, main points were it's a good middle ground cover. It's flush with the bed. It's nice because you can't get in it uh, easily at least, you know, it would take a while. 
then it's also nice because it folds, you know, partially if you need to drive with it like that or all the way and then locks in place. Um, and it's honestly a pretty, you know, straightforward installation, in my opinion, didn't take me that long. So again, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, join the couch gang. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll catch you guys later.